Hey, this is Neil Walters. In this video, I want to show you how to clean up your PayPal, especially if you have those uh, ongoing automatic transactions that happen every month. What happens lots of times is, is when you buy a product from ClickBank or JBZoo or somewhere online, there will be an initial cost of the product, for example, $39, and then there might be a $17 or $39 a month membership fee that just keeps going on and on and on forever. I found one the other day that they billed me at least two or three months after the website had even shut down, and it's up to me to go in there and make sure I'm getting the use out of these items that I'm spending my money on. So the first thing is PayPal just overhauled all their menus again. They do, you know, big companies do this every year or two. And so now how do you find your recurring transactions? We have to find your profile. So you click on your little uh, icon at the head there, and then you go to profile and settings. Then you're gonna come over here and you go to my money. Click that if it's not already clicked. And then you have my pre-approved payments. And then over here, you see there's a little update. Click that. And then here's a list of my recurring charges I have right now. So there was one in particular I wanted to get rid of. The problem with this is when you click on them, sometimes it's hard to tell what they are. Like if you recognize the company name over here, that's good. But sometimes you'll see something over here like ClickBank or something, and you don't exactly remember what it is. The other thing that might be confusing is like here, Evernote, I pay their annual premium subscription, but that's only $48 a year. I would say most of these others are actually monthly expenses. So um, this I think is an annual one. So I wish it would say on here annual or not because that's kind of confusing. So if I want to confirm that, I would go here to this uh, details of Jonathan Leger. Here it says for each year. So I wish PayPal would put that on the prior screen. Now we're going to cancel one of those in a minute, but first let's, use, let's see how we can use our email to also find out more details. Here's the phrase you want to look for, paypal.com, you sent an automatic payment. So if we take that and go to your email, and I'm using Gmail here, paste that in the search and click uh, the search button. Then you can see here, here's all my automatic payments and I can see what dates they're actually happening, happening on. So for instance here, I wanna find out how much I'm spending a month on PayPal. I can open each of these emails for October and find out if I'm spending $250 a month or $17 a month or whatever. What, what, what would all these add up to? I was looking also for one that was a specific amount. So I'm just gonna actually open a couple of these. I think it was around this date. Okay, backlinks vault, that one's okay. Some of these I like, I wanna continue. Now there's one I wanna get rid of. Um, this is something I bought a long time ago and I'm paying this terrible amount of $37.10 a month. I'm never using it at all. So I really wanna get rid of this one. So uh, the amount is 37.10 and it's to Creative Ventures Media. So let's go back to PayPal now. And hopefully we can find over here Creative Ventures Media. The problem with that is sometimes you don't remember the names of the companies. And actually, in this case, they actually do have the uh, product name here, OTO4. What that means is when they sell something, they have a one-time offer. And apparently this guy had offer one, offer two, offer three, and offer four. And offer four was for the monthly, they call it a continuity plan, where they keep basically making money on you every month, which sometimes is good. If, if you want the product, that's fine. So I'm gonna click on this one. My gosh, I've sent way too much money to them. And so I wanna cancel it. And where is the cancel button? Right here. And it says cancel the profile, boom. The profile has been canceled and cannot be reactivated. No, no more recurring payments will be made. So that's how you get rid of these ongoing monthly expenses out of your PayPal. Remember to start, you click here, you click profile, you click my money, and then you click my pre-approved payments and click the little button to the right called update. And again, use your email along with this if you need further details of how often that thing is spending and who it's going to. Because sometimes you'll see in here like ClickBank as well. So I hope that was helpful. I have a lot of other tech tip videos on YouTube. Check them out and subscribe to our channel.